Hey everyone, and welcome to Sheep vs. Wolf, made by Gallus. In this video, I will talk to you about how you can kill a boar. Um, the first 12 minutes of the game actually uh, are not played live, because it just it's just very boring. It's basically getting to imp. So I recorded a video of that. I'm going to play this now. I'm just going to speed it up and shut my mouth. And uh, when it's about to be finished, I'll talk to you a little bit about the basics you need to know. So speed, speed it up. The sound will be very funny, but it just shows you the basics uh, of how to do it, and uh, it saves you a lot of time looking at a boring movie. Now, as you just saw, I basically built my bush in the back of the map. Um, you can also build your bush inside a base, which is not far, far from the boar. It's up to you what you want to do, but as you can see me now, it's just uh, kind of boring. I went to the fuel age, I used the market to balance out my economy. Um, I'm gonna upgrade to the castle age and upgrade my trees. Then I go to the imperial age and upgrade my trees again. So what I want to do if I uh, kill the boar is uh, always be sure that I'm in the area and I'm safe and I'm ready to kill that boar early and my target is to imperial age around 30 minutes. So I'm gonna speed the video up even more because this is just a useless uh, filler. All filler, no killer. Speed it up even more. Let's see what happens. And we're going to the castle age. Upgrading. If the game would only go as fast uh, when you play it. You know, you can see we go to the castle age. Take some time. Speeding it up even more. Soon it's finished. And when, the, when I reach the imperial age, I will resume the video. And uh, I'll finish the game in real time. Uh, in real time. So, clicking up to the Imperial Age now. As you can see, I'm researching, and as soon as I reach the Imperial Age, I will switch back to Age of Empires, and you can see me playing live now. So, let's go in game. I think it's recording well. Let, let me check. So, I'm reaching the Imperial Age now, upgrading to Large Fruit Tree. And what I want to do is, uh, if I kill a boar, is uh, of course the boar is going to attack me. So I want to be shit. Want to be make sure that I'm safe. So a very common trick is to tree wall the boar outside of the area where you are going to make your towers. So I'm going to make tree walls like this, and I'm going to make sure that the boar does not attack me. See, the boar is coming too close now, so I'm going to hide right here in the forest, and I'm going to tree wall because if he would attack me, then you know I would die. So this is a very it's it's kind of hard. It takes some patience. So now that my trees are upgraded, my economy is finished. I need keeps, so I can, I'm going to do, uh, well in this case I like, personally I like treadmill crane a lot because it just builds everything much much faster. You also need to uh, upgrade bracer, upgrade keep, etc. Uh, and if you want to be absolutely sure that the wolf doesn't kill you, I mean you need chemistry also for the, for the board to die faster. So what you see that I did here is just basically I'm safe now from the boar. I made sure that it cannot reach me. Um, doing fletching in no particular order so just 
I'm going to just to build, start building those uh, towers, and I'm using a market to buy some extra resources because you will always have more uh, gold than you need uh, than you need if you uh, play it like this. You basically only need towers. So what I do is that I upgrade my guard towers, and what I usually do is I group all my towers to number two. My sheep is a number one. Oh, my sheep is a number one. The towers are a number two, and as soon as they uh, are built, I start attacking the boar. It's important, however, that as soon as uh, you see a wolf, that you switch very fast with two and click that wolf, and so that the the keeps a uh, the keeps or whatever towers you have attack the boar and not the bear. Uh, attack the boar and not the wolf. I'm sorry about that. So as you can see, I'm just building some keeps, and basically you need if you want to be real safe, you need between eight and ten keeps. Uh, for the board to, uh, to die fast, and also if any wolf would show up, 8 to 10 keeps will usually keep you safe. It's important, however, to do upgrade chemistry, so I'm going to do that early right here. Uh, it just adds a lot more attack to your towers, and makes them much stronger, and uh, I think it's more important to upgrade chemistry than to go to keep. But, you know, that's a different discussion. Just make sure that you keep doing upgrades all the time, and in the meantime you're building some towers. If you're unsure, if you're uncomfortable, maybe the wolf is, uh, is around, you, you haven't explored much, you can also choose to stay in the forest a little longer, stay hidden. Oh. Narrator start. Oh god, I started the narrator, that sucks. Some wrong hotkey. Narrator, narrator word to So you can mode. also stay in the forest a little longer and do those upgrades while you keep, uh, while you remain hidden. So, um, it's always, it's always a matter of, you know, if is, is it safe, then do it, if it's not safe, you can wait inside the forest and fully upgrade your keeps and do chemistry, etc. And then go out and build them. Because, you know, they are still... I haven't upgraded treadmill crane. Uh, so they're still being built pretty slowly. So I'm not making much progression. Two very important upgrades, if you're not certain, are murder holes and ballistics. Murder holes are very important if you want to kill a wolf. So I'm just going to do that right now. The wolf is obviously not coming. He doesn't look very interested at the moment. But if the wolf would attack me right now, I do need more murder holes in order to save me. So every time I build a tower, I hotkey them to number two and I attack the boar. You can also make wolf killers, but the iron boar has so much armor that the wolf killer hardly does any damage. So making keeps is a lot more efficient. You can also do, uh, if you want, you can also uh, do healthy hooves and do loom in order for your sheep to be a little stronger. But uh, in this case, I'm not doing that. It's just about showing the basic how to kill the boar. So let's see, I have five, eight, nine. I'm going to make two more keeps and leave it, uh, leave it at that. Keep upgrading them and keep attacking the boar. You can see it's slowly dying. It has 3,500 hit points. But, uh, you know, those melee, of, um, not melee, those uh, arrow attacks, those range attacks are very effective on the boar. So. It'll, dry, it'll die very uh, very rapidly. In some maps, it's an idea to also make your base around this. Uh, of course, in Glade, it's going to be very hard because you'd have to wall all the way over here. That's that's too far out. So, but like in in canyons or in original, uh, let's think about cliff. No, I'm not sure. Maybe about oasis. You can you could consider basing around. Uh, the place where you make those towers. So I have 10 towers now and I'm attacking the boar. It's halfway dead and I'm still upgrading. I'm doing masonry and architecture soon. Um, those two are important because even now if a veteran wolf would come with armor you would need masonry to uh, to kill it. In this case I chose cheaper upgrade. If you pick a plus 10 tower attack or if you pick uh, let's say uh, tower attack speed the boar will die even faster, but I for this uh, for this video I just picked cheaper upgrades to be upgrading faster towards the Imperial Age. So I hope that this video was useful and teaches you how to uh, kill the boar. Um, normally, to continue after this, you would um, you would make a base or join the other sheep or even try to kill the bear as well, which I'm going to discuss in an in uh, another video. But for now, the most important thing is be safe, be patient, make those towers, keep upgrading them. And uh, once you've made them, kill the boar, and uh, if a wolf comes, quickly select number two and attack the, the wolf. So that's all for now. Hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye.